If you're not taking a lot of photos of yourself in Korea, you're not doing it right. Gong Palace. Uh, it was built in like 1395, but apparently it was destroyed and then rebuilt like in the 1800s. But it's super popular and everybody dresses up in traditional clothes and walks around and it looks awesome. So we're gonna check it out. Okay, so I also got my phone out like Irish so I can pronounce these things. So apparently people have been living in Seoul about 18 BC, makes it a very old city. It's also the fourth most powerful city uh, economically by GDP. I just find that interesting. Uh, but this palace was originally built by the Joseon Dynasty, which I'm sure I'm saying wrong. And they ruled Korea for about 500 years, up until about the Japanese invasion, I believe, in the 1900s, early 1900s. They changed all that, so. You know, it's, what's his name? Buffalo Springfield once said, there's something happening here. What it is, ain't exactly clear. So something's going on, everyone's just cleared out of the central space. We think it's the changing of the guard. We'll find out. So, what do you think's happening? Fancy pavilion where they used to have fancy dinners and all the people are dressed in their fancy traditional clothes. Can you explain why? Um, why are people wearing traditional clothes? Because they like to take pictures of themselves in traditional clothes. Uh, right? Um, maybe because it's Lunar New Year, but I think this happens all the time because it's a pretty park, a pretty place to take photos of yourself, right? What did you think of the palace? Oh, it was awesome. It was so cool. It was beautiful here. Like, way nicer than I expected it to be. Like, Seoul's a really pretty place. Uh, and we got to sit in postcards for free. And there was a bunch of cool stuff going on because it's New Year. Hold on. Camera, keep filming, but I don't remember where we are. One. All right. We are now in the Bukchon Hanok village. I think I'm saying that right. Catherine Prince, you're any Koreans, I know can correct me if I'm saying it wrong, but it's supposed to be a traditional village. So we walked up the hill. You can see behind me Seoul. And actually behind us is the Blue House. That's where the, the president lives. So I actually realized it was the president's house because as we came through the palace, I remember, remember excuse me, from when they had the protest against the president who lived there. Um, they protested in the giant avenues in front of the palace. We walked through the historical palace. So that way the president who is now facing charges of extreme corruption and bribery put it that way so she could hear and see them all protesting against her and there are about a million people i believe in the streets there so anyway we're going to walk through the village and we're going to the night market So 
Salamat Datang ka Myang Dong. Welcome to Myang Dong. I'm probably saying the name of the place right, but Salamat Datang. For those who don't speak Malaysian, it's welcome. So welcome to Myang Dong. Look at the street sign behind me. So big shopping, uh, night market area. So we're hoping to get some good food. So let's see. We're going to give up on the hopes of eating live squid, but let's see what we can find. Oh God, try the egg bun. What do you got, honey? A cheesy fried chicken, and it tastes really good. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Just enjoying my favorite night market snacks. Oh, I'm just kidding, all right. So they're not a little different than the pasar malams in uh, Malaysia. Mainly they have pork. You don't want to get the pork in Kuala well, Lumpur, obviously. Sorry, someone's looking at me. So we're gonna try some vegetable and... Pork. Pork, hey, look at people devil dumpling, so. Good balance of the vegetables, I balance of the pork. And warm because it's cold out. So we're gonna have some tobiaki, right? Tobiaki is how you say it. I have no idea. The rice cake. But it's thing. the rice cake, right? Oh, oh yeah. And uh, there's one right by my work, but I've never had it. <laughs> Hot and spicy. Uh huh. It's good. It's spicy. It's spicy. Good. Yeah. Okay, so this is a fried dough pancake stuffed with sugar. We had one of these, something similar, at the Olympics, and it's really good. So let's see if this one's as good. Oh yeah, really good. Sweet, fried, like a funnel cake. Okay. so good. Oh, it's like mm, sweet and melty cheesy. Oh man, that was good. If you lived here your whole life, do you ever think that there's somebody that's like, oh, 4 dollars that's a good one. I'm glad that one's coming. <laughs> yes. It has my favorite seat on it. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> That means the train's coming. All right, we've entered what they call Western Town. And you notice all the signs are in English first, then Korean. Welcome to Western Town. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Craft beer, we haven't had it so long. So much better than Tyson. Oh. So much better than Tyson.